Hello art friends! Today we're going to create a cute triple scoop ice cream cone inspired by our theme of summer fun. So let's find out which art supplies you need and let's get started! These are the supplies that you need in order to create your cute triple scoop ice cream cone. You need white paper, any size is fine, whatever you have at home will work, a pencil to do your sketching, a black Sharpie marker to do all the outlining, and if you don't have a Sharpie marker, you can use any black marker. And then finally, you need coloring options. So anything from crayons, colored pencils, markers, you can use a combination of those things or just one of them to color in your cute ice cream cone. So gather up your art supplies and let's get started. So now we're ready to begin sketching our triple scoop ice cream cone. We are going to start with the top scoop. So you want to go up to the top of your paper, but just leave a little space at the top. And we're going to get started out by creating a rainbow shape. So you're just going to sketch that curved line that goes from one side over to the other. Okay, so now we're going to create the bottom part of that first scoop of ice cream. So you're gonna come around and make a curved line over here. Bring it up. Then another curved line, almost like a smiley face. And then you're gonna do that last curved line that connects it all together. So there's scoop number one. Scoop number two is going to come right underneath. So you're going to do a curve line here. Another curve line over on this side. Okay, don't go all the way to the end because we want it to look like it's stacked on top of each other. And then again, curve line. The smiley face curve line. And then the other one that comes around and stops. Okay, now we're ready for the bottom scoop. So again, curve line comes down, curve line comes down. Do your curve line over here, the smiley face one, and then this one is connected over there. So now you have your three scoops of ice cream. So now we are ready to create our ice cream cone, which is basically a triangle shape. So you're gonna start under here and you're gonna bring your pencil down. So see how it kind of gets on a diagonal and then come back up here pencil down and just connect that. Now what we're going to do is make the lines on the inside of the ice cream cone. That's just to show the texture of the ice cream cone. So we're going to make those same type of lines. So another diagonal line over here. Leave a little space, make another one. Leave a little space, make another one. And your last one. Now we're going to run lines the other way, going this way. So another diagonal line going this way, leave a little space. Another diagonal line. Another one. And again, how, however far apart you make these lines will determine how many you need. But you just want to leave a little bit of space so it gives it that impression that it looks like an ice cream cone. The next part is adding really cute and silly faces to our three scoops of ice cream. So you can follow along with me and do the faces that I'm going to create or you can come up with your own but you want to keep them simple and just give them a little expression in each of the scoops. So for the top one I'm just going to make my oval eyes. And then inside, I'm going to do the little reflection. So I'm going to do that smaller circle. And I'm just going to lightly shade with my pencil. I know when I have to do my Sharpie, I'll color all of this in. And 
and I'm going to make my little smile, put a little tongue in there, and then just create the little cheeks. The second scoop has a face almost like he's saying, oh no, I have someone on top of me. So we're going to close the eyes, do that kind of squinty eye. And then his mouth is going to be open. Little tongue inside. You just shade that in so I remember to color that in with my black Sharpie. Go back and do this one. Okay, and then the last one is almost like the top one, but I'm going to do eyelashes on it. So two ovals, little reflection circle on the inside. Color that in. Our little smile. Our eyelashes. And now our faces are complete and we're ready for the next part. So our next part to sketching is creating toppings. If you want to put any type of toppings on the top scoop, or if you have an ice cream flavor that you want to create, like mint chocolate chip or cherry chip, you can also create the little chips as well. So at the top of mine, I'm going to put sprinkles and I'm just going to make those by creating little rectangles, little circles, you can add any type of topping to your top scoop of ice cream that you want, but just keep it fairly simple. If you want to do like M&Ms or Skittles, you can make little circles and put those at the top. Just have fun with your toppings and create what it is that you like to have on the top of your ice cream. Now another thing that you can add are the chips. So if you decided that one of your flavors is going to be a mint chocolate chip or cherry chip, you can add those little tiny squares. Again, it's an option. If you don't want that ice cream flavor, then you don't need to create it. But you would just make these little tiny squares and those are the chips that are blended in to the ice cream flavor. So now that all of our sketching is complete, the next part is to outline all of our pencil marks. So if you have a black Sharpie or any type of black marker, you're going to outline all of your pencil lines except the cone lines. Those are the lines on the inside, and I'm going to show you a little trick that we're going to use for that. So you're going to outline everything else, but not the cone lines on the inside. So grab your Sharpie. And we know from doing this in class, you're going to carefully go over your pencil lines. Remember, nice and slow, stay on the line. Sharpie, just like most other markers, cannot be erased if you make a mistake. So I always stress going extremely slow when you get to this part. When you have to do things like the eyes and the mouth, it's always easier to outline the shape first. Do the little reflection circle on the inside and then use your Sharpie marker and color it in. That way you set up guidelines and that you don't go beyond those guidelines when you start to color it in. So I'm gonna finish outlining all of mine Remember, everything gets outlined, including the outside shape of the cone, just not the cone lines on the inside. So you continue outlining, and then I will check back with you. So now is the fun part, adding color to our ice cream cone. 
What you have to think about is the flavors of each of your scoops of ice cream and then getting the colors that will match that flavor. Remember, use whatever coloring options you have at home, whether it's crayons, markers, colored pencils, even twistables. So for mine, I'm gonna use a combination of markers and colored pencils. And here's a little trick that you can do to add some value to have those areas of dark and light if you wanna add it to your ice cream scoops. So I'm gonna take my marker. My top scoop is gonna be pink or strawberry. And what I do with the marker is I just follow the black Sharpie outline pretty much all the way around. And just kind of make it like this little thicker area. It doesn't have to be everywhere. It's just adding a little bit more value to the edges of the scoop of ice cream. And then what I do is I take the colored pencil, or if you don't have a colored pencil, you can use a crayon, and now I'm gonna go in and color that in. What I tried to do is I try to press a little bit hard so it comes out a little bit darker on one side of the scoop, and then as I go across, like on this one, I get a little bit lighter. And again, take your time, stay in the lines. If you did sprinkles at the top of yours, you're gonna to wanna to color those in. Probably if you have markers, they'll work best because it's a tiny area. You can also add color to the cheeks and the inside of the mouth. So take your time designing your scoops of ice cream and coloring them in. Decide what colors they're gonna be. If you wanna add the marker detail the way I did going around, you can on each of your scoops. I'm gonna take my time finishing coloring mine and then I'm gonna show you a little technique for creating the cone lines. <laughs> Now that our ice cream scoops are completely colored in, now we're gonna move on to the cone. So remember, if you have any type of brown marker, whether it's a Sharpie, Crayola, any type, we're gonna use that to go over our cone lines. So grab your brown marker, and you're just gonna follow those lines. So going down. and then the ones that are going this way too. Okay, now what you're gonna do is take your crayon or colored pencil, and we're gonna color in each of those sections. So you notice on this one, I did some parts dark and some parts light, again, to add that value to our artwork. It just makes our artwork look a little bit more intense, makes it look a little bit more realistic by adding the value on there. So in one section, I'm gonna press really hard. And in the next one, I'm just gonna go a little bit lighter. If you want, you can do every other one, but you don't have to. You can do two next to each other that are the same. We just want to try to vary it up a little bit so that each section of our cone texture is not exactly the same. And this one I'm going to go a little bit lighter. Okay, and then back to a dark one over here. So when you're using a colored pencil or a crayon, it just really requires you to press hard. That's how you get that dark value. And when you want it to be lighter, you just press a little bit lighter. It's when you give your hand a break. And just color that in. You did the same thing on your ice cream scoops. If you did that technique, you pressed really hard and then you went towards the other side by pressing a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna finish up my ice cream cone. You do the same and then I'll check back with you. Wow, this ice cream cone looks so cute and delicious and I'm sure yours does too. 
I hope you enjoyed creating your triple scoop ice cream cone and getting ready for some summer fun. In fact, you did so awesome today, you've earned the Golden Paintbrush Award. Until next time, keep smiling, keep dreaming, and keep creating.